Okay, uh, so this is week uh, 11, and this is our challenge introduction. So uh, anyone who has gone through the challenge document, please uh, type in the chat, or uh, you can open your mic and speak if you, are, if you can speak. Okay, uh, I hope you can see my, my screen. So maybe uh, have have you not gone through the document or you are not able to speak? I I, I really don't understand. So maybe have Tom uh, Abraham. Mm, yeah, the suggest type in the chat and yeah, sir. You can just clarify on that. If you have gone through the document, what is it clear enough? What you understood about it? But if not, you can just move on to the intro. Okay, so I'll just uh, start going through it. Okay, so uh, this week's challenge would be for you guys to have the taste of uh, what international competitions are like. So mostly uh, the most common uh, in, in international competition websites are Zindi and Kaggle. So Zindi is for more, uh, for Zindi is for Africans, uh, which means like anybody can participate, but it's like Zindi.Africa is a website. So, and Kaggle is the more famous one. So in this case, mm, so the objective would be uh, just for you guys to rank as high as possible in those uh, competitions. So for example, as you, you will see in, in Zindi and Kaggle, there is a leaderboard. So we want you guys to be the, as high as possible and as high as we want you to perform a rank that is as high as possible. So you are required to focus on participating in modeling, which is predictive modeling in challenge, challenge in Zindi and Kaggle. So which means you should have explored the competitions below. So we have given you three. One is churn production, the other is sales, and the third is insurance recommendation. So you, you will choose uh, one one of the three and you will compete so churn prediction is just in, involves forecasting the potential churn rate of customers so which means how how the customers will, it's just forecasting does the, the customer will return or not yeah and sales prediction is as we all as you have done previously targeting the monthly and quarterly sales forecast for walmart so we have given new Walmart sales prediction competition. So you will join that competition and uh, do your challenge on that. So the other way, the third one is from Zindi, which is insurance recommendation, focusing on predictive modeling in the insurance industry, just to match customer needs with insurance product and offerings in the Zimbabwe insurance market. So now you will have to create your own Zindi and Kaggle accounts and participate. So you have to remember having these accounts is is really crucial in your future uh in, in in your future project so you can show how you can tackle any international challenge and any competition so it's really important for you guys so make sure to actually focus and do this challenge and so you will have uh, you will gain a valuable hands-on experience and also the exposure to higher industry standards and uh, then the obvious uh, learning outcomes are data analysis modeling machine learning predictive modeling uh, statistical modeling data pre-processing and advanced algorithms and also last but not least communication and collaboration so the knowledge would be real world data challenge so as we have as we have we have mentioned these are real world data 
challenge and you will have churn prediction sales forecasting insurance <coughs> insurance recommendation and also you will learn how to handle large data sets and practical application of your theoretical knowledge and so in frame submission will be as always on wednesday so 10th of july and final submission on, will be on 13th of july saturday and so from zindi as i have mentioned earlier you will pick insurance recommendation and from kaggle you will pick churn prediction slash or sales prediction so you will pick one of the three and complete so the first task here would be uh, creating an account if you if you haven't uh, already registered so you have to create an account in Kaggle and Zindi. And first try to understand uh, the platforms, then they can see how to check the leaderboards and go through them. And also if you find their notebook, go through their notebook and see, just take what they have done. And for at least one, one competition that's already completed, check the leaderboard dynamics, so which, which is like, like read the comments and all and go through the code sheet by top top performance and write so it's a summary of key algorithms commonly used in zindi and Kaggle competitions so uh then so if you pick zindi you focus on zindi and if you pick one of the Kaggle, you pick on the Kaggle part and the next would be co to copy the algorithm shared by the community for competition you have selected a part so which means there will be uh, algorithms that are that have been submitted there or shared so you will pick those and understand the code and make sure you can like, make sure to run it and get the expected results so now the next would be to modify the parameters and and also it is the parameters both in modeling and pre-processing state so in the pre-processing you might create another future or you might create you might modify the existing features and in the modeling stage you might modify uh, another thing and submit the result you get to get a, base, a baseline rank in the platform so there is an accepted algorithm so you you, you modify some part of it and get a baseline and after that you try to improve your rank and also read the discussions and try to apply different techniques and algorithms in your data analysis so ensure um, you are able to improve your leader your leadership position so for example if you are in the 108 80s position so on the on your next submission make sure you are above that and also you, you have to submit uh, as a proof of as a proof to your three submission trials and improved rank in the leaderboard so you should have at least three submissions that lead to improved ranking so let's say so for a let's say one of you chooses Kaggle and for that part you uh, you try to submit three times in a different approach and check whether the rank is improved or not so make sure to submit screenshots and uh, we will notify the submission part to in order for uh, in order to accommodate the screenshot part and summarize the lessons learned as a report so your final report would be that and write uh, what algorithms have you tried and why so try to explain what your algorithms were and also why do you, why you actually decided to go through that approach and the final thing would be what things you could have improved or what, what approaches you could have taken if you had more time so today we will have uh, a tutorial on Kaggle and tomorrow we will have a tutorial on Zindi. So make sure to actually uh, follow up on these sessions. And so the the report, so a detailed report uh, the, about the competition you chose would be submitted on Wednesday, and the final submission would be a blog post. Plus, we will include another. So we will include the three screenshots here. So screenshots as a proof to your three submission trials. So this will be another sub another submission. So you'll have three submissions for this one. 
So your final li li link to your GitHub code will be considered uh, as it valid if you actually submitted any work in, in the competition and also you share your screen uh, screenshot as a proof. So unless otherwise your GitHub will be invalid. So the main thing here is to actually compete and submit on Kaggle and Zindi, Kaggle or Zindi. So if, if you don't have any any proof for that, your GitHub code will, it's, it, it's not that useful. So, and also make sure to write a GitHub, I mean, a medium, choose medium to publish your blog post. And yeah, and make sure to go through the references if you face any issues. And also if you face any issues in the challenge, make sure to check the discussion part and also make sure to check uh, any other well, uh, any other valuable references. So if you have any question, you can type in the chat or raise your hand and speak. So was it clear or not? Uh, if if you, yeah, okay, yeah, this I'll go. I, I have tried to create the Kaggle uh, account before and I, I think my IP is blocked. So what I should do? What were you trying to do? I was trying to create an Kaggle account, but I, I can't because my IP address is blocked, I think. Were you using a VPN or not? Uh, no, I'm not using VPN. Maybe try try to be using a VPN or also try to change your email address while you're trying to register. Maybe try both ways. So, for example, try to have a, to turn on your VPN and also uh, ch use a different email address. Okay. Uh, anybody else? So was the was the explanation clear enough? So do you guys understood what the what the requirements are? What to do on this week? Okay, maybe, uh, okay, so those of you who understood, maybe react a thumbs up. Those of you who don't, who actually ha haven't understood what the requirements are and what, the, what is the challenge about, maybe react on, yeah, there is a thumbs down, so react with a thumbs down. And maybe try to type your issue in the chat box, so we'll interfere and make it clear. Okay, so if you have any questions or any issues, make sure to uh, to write it on Slack and also you can DM any of the tutors here and we will be right there to help. So yeah, thank you guys.